Hi, hope your week has been a good one. It's been quite nice to pause after the shortest half term that in some way has felt like the longest and to have a lie in, a late night here and there, but mainly to remember again this amazing life story of Jesus, his compassionate death and his glorious resurrection. And today we begin the journey to see what the disciples did with that story, that experience of having known and having walked with Jesus. So the first thing that I noticed about this weekend's passage is that during the time after Jesus had come back to life and before he had ascended back to heaven, he wasn't with his disciples 24 seven. In verse three, it talks about Jesus appearing to the apostles. That's another name for the disciples. They'd been renamed apostles as it means sent ones, which kind of gave them a clue as to what Jesus was calling them to. But he appeared to them only from time to time. Do you have days when you don't feel like Jesus has been as present as much as you would have wanted? I wonder if that's how the apostles felt. It led me to understand the role of the Holy Spirit in a much deeper way. Jesus still had a body, although changed, could still be only in one place at one time. The Holy Spirit makes his home in us. We carry him with us and therefore the presence of Jesus. The second thing that I was drawn to was Jesus's emphatic instruction not to leave where they were, Jerusalem, until they had received the gift that he had promised. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. I was thinking about what I always make sure I have with me before I leave home. And as a mum of three, it's pretty key for me to have my phone with me. It means that I can stay in contact with my kids, you know, remind them that breakfast and being dressed is an activity that normal people engage with every day, that the dishwasher could do with emptying, and they can let me know if something is happening at home that I should know about. But my phone is no good to me if it has no power. Hence, the purchase of a portable charger. Jesus knew that what he was asking the apostles to do was beyond their own strength, their own power. They needed the Holy Spirit to be baptised with his power, to be able to carry out the Great Commission. That as that same gospel and mandate has been given to us, do we make sure that we don't leave where we are without the Holy Spirit? I'm very good at checking that I have my phone and my portable charger, but my challenge to myself from reading this passage is, do I acknowledge that I need the Spirit even more so that I don't miss an opportunity to share with someone the goodness of God? In Graham's introduction video to this new series on Acts, he says, the explosive growth of the church among those early believers flowed from their passionate commitment to Jesus and the powerful work of the Spirit among them. Let's seek the same today. I would agree with him. Let me pray. Father God, thank you that you had all this planned out, that for Jesus to return to our Father in heaven, we would need the power and companionship of the Holy Spirit to carry out the work of the kingdom until Jesus returns. Please, will you fill us afresh and give us a fresh revelation of how precious this gift of the Holy Spirit is and forgive us when we have done life in our own strength and help us to recognise daily the life and the beauty of the Spirit within us. For your glory, Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining us. See you on Sunday.